So, hello mga Bebe Loves. This is the part 3 of module 5 of Business Finance titled Preparation of Budgets and Projected Financial Statements. So, now I'm going to discuss the activities inside the module. I'm doing this because I receive personal messages coming from my students asking about the activities. Uh, so, I think, kahit paano siguro baka may maitulong yung uh, clarifications dito because I think nagkaroon din ako ng error or typographical error dun sa mga activities. So, this is the module 5. Okay, preparation of budgets and projected financial statements. So, let's go now to the activities. Since I already finished my discussions of the topics or the lessons inside this module. Alright, so the activity one first, uh, this is the easy one. You're just going to identify the type of budgeting described in each circles. Alright, so you, ha it's, you have seven. And based on the discussion, it is seven. Then the next one is the preparation of budget. So as I said in, I think, part two, this is the practice test or the practice activity which you can generate the forecast on sales, uh, cost of sales, and other operating expenses. So let's start with number one. Projected sales daw po, ang hinahanap niya. So, sales are expected to increase by 10% in 2020 from the 2019 sales level. So, your basis will be the 2019 sales level. Okay, so you are going to go back to my example in the Bepo company. So, you're going to look for the sales in 2019. So, the sales in 2019 is 5,250,000. So, you are going to use this uh, data in computing the 2020 forecasted sales. So, this is the formula that you are going to use to identify the projected sales. So, how much? 5,250,000 times uh, 1 plus 10% since they are asking for 10%. Okay, so from 2010 to 2014, this is based on historical uh, record, 10.3% daw po. So, you can also compute it uh, year to year. Ay, where is that? Okay. So, 2015, ilan yung increase niya ng 2016? Mula 2016, ilan increase niya ng 2017? So, an average daw po ng 10.3%. So, kaya nag-assume ang um, ating activity or ang ating problem ng 10%. So, may basis naman po siya kung bakit 10% ang hinihingi niya. Next, ganun din po ang gagawin natin. Compute for the cost of sales percentage in 2019 using the formula. So, cost of sales over net sales. Ilan daw po yun? So, you have... Pabalikan natin. Medyo may mga maiingay ako sa background. So, medyo pagpasensyahan na lang natin. Yan. So, you have uh, cost of sales ng 2019. So, pakitandaan na lang. Pero dito po natin kukuhanin yung mga data natin. So, as I said, yung mga gagamitin natin kay finance ay galing kay accounting records or sa mga financial statements ni accounting. So, Yan po siya. Balikan natin uli yung ating problem. Then, the net sales. 2019 din po ang gagamitin natin. So, that would be 4,305,000 over yung net sales natin dito sa unang problem. So, si 5,250,000 i-over natin times 100. So, makukuha natin yung percentage ng cost of sales ng 2019. Next one, compute for the projected cost of sales using your answer in number 1 in number 2. So, here, 
Kung ano po yung makukuha nating sagot, projected sales. Si number one, ilan ang nakuha ninyong sagot dyan? Times the percentage. So, makukuha nyo na si answer ng number three problem. And then four, so compute for variable operating expense. So, sa natin kukuha ng si variable operating expense. So, si projected sales daw po uli. So, ilan po ang projected sales natin? So, that is why, kaya ang pinaka-importante nga daw na budget, dun din sa explanation kanina, is the sales budget. Dun, dun pa rin natin kukuha nin si variable operating expenses natin. So, ilan yung nakuha yung answer kay? Saan ba natin kinuha si projected sales? Okay, number one. So, times 5%. So, you will get the variable operating expense for number 4. And then, now we have the number 5. The fixed depreciation expense. So, if the depreciation expense is 5% daw po. So, we are going to get the uh, property, plant, and equipment as of December 31, 2019 daw. So, meron kang PPE na 5,200,000. And for January, meron kang 1,000,000 na new PPE. So, fixed depreciation expense daw po natin si previous PPE, pag natin kay new PPE, and ang depreciation expense niya ay 5% din po. Okay, so ilan po yun? Next, for number 6, compute for total operating expenses using your answer in num item number 4 and 5. So pag a lang po natin ang mga nakuha ninyong uh, expenses kay number 4 at number 5. And then, let's go now to, ayan, kay number 7. Dito ba ako may nakuhang message? Okay, compute for interest expense if the first loan daw po natin will mature in uh, June 30, 2020. So, nung June, sa katapos, nung katapusan ng June, the principal remaining balance to be paid on June 30, 2020 is 1,250,000 with an annual interest rate of 8%. So, paano to gawin? So, ang first loan natin ay, ang principal daw niya, ang principal balance na lang, remaining principal balance is 1,250,000. Principal po natin yon So, yan na siya. Ilan po ang rate? Interest rate natin, ayun. See? 8%. How about the time? Since yung 8% na yan for annual, pero nag-mature lang siya ng uh, June 30. So, kalahati lang ng taon. So, ang magiging time natin dyan ay hindi po 1. Since, kalahating taon lang po siya, 6 over 12. So, 6 months lang naman po. So, 6 over 12, 0.5. So, ang time po natin dyan ay 0.5. So, you compute the rest. Next, for items number 8 and 9 naman, so, interest expense pa rin daw po. Okay, so second loan, 3 million, incurred in last year, December 31. So this is paid every 30 and December 21, so semi-annually then. Annual interest rate, 8%, together with the principal of 500,000. Okay, so for the first loan, Principal, so you have the 3 million. The rate is 8%. And, babayaran daw siya every 30 and 31. So, ang magiging time natin ay 0.5 po ulit. Since kalahating taon. So, yun po yung una. January to June 1. So, si 3 million. And then, rate times... 
0.5. So, 6 over 12 po ulit. And then, for interest from July 1 to December 31, since nabayaran na yung 500,000 daw po, ang magiging principal na lang natin dito ay 2,500,000. 2, so, sabi kasi niya dito, together with uh, principal of 500,000. So, ang magiging principal na lang natin dito, 2,500,000 since 3 million minus 500,000. So, magbabayad siya ng 500,000 na principal mula dun sa 3 million. So, 2,500,000 times ilan po ulit rate? 8%. And then time since from July 1 to December 31 na, babayaran niya. So, 0.5 po ulit. Okay? Now, for item number 10, compute for the total interest expense of first loan and second loan. So, interest expense ni item number 7 plus the interest expense of items number 8 and 9. So, that will be your answer in item number 10. Okay, so I hope I clarify things in there. Also pala, I think, uh, dito, yan, this is the activity 2. I think by the additional activities, dito ako, dito na confuse yung ibang mga estudyante. I think, na type graphical error ako dito. So, using your computed data in activity number 2. Okay, this is the activity which you can get your data. So, from items number 1 to 10. Okay, next. Uh, what I have learned, so, based on the discussion on this module, uh, pakilagay na lang kung ano yung mga nasa blanks na ito. So, for your what I have learned activity. And next is what I can do. So, what should the management do if the actual performance of the company fell short? of the plans as early as in the first quarter. Um, this is a, in a real-life situation then, Especially now, since the first quarter of the year, nagkaroon tayo ng COVID. So, if uh, put yourself as a business owner, ano ang gagawin mo sa business mo kung sa first quarter pa lang mababa na yung sales? Let's say, for example, Next. So, you can do, that, do this in your notebook, ha? Uh, doon ako mag-check. So, paki-compile lang muna. And then, by the end of the quarter, ipapasa nyo sa akin lahat ng mga activities ninyo. And then, the assessment. So, true or false. True if the given statement is correct. If not, replace the underlying word by proper term to make the statement correct. And then, this is the additional activities. So, the number, uh, one, number one item, so, from activity 2, ha, doon sa kinumputan ninyo, doon kayo kukuha ng mga data dito. Okay, kindly fill out the blank performa. So, ilan yung nakuha ninyong uh, net sales? So, this is a projective income statement. Example nito ay makikita nyo rin sa module ninyo. So, ito siya. Okay, kay Bepo Company. Ito lang din yung pagkakasunod-sunod. So, il ano yung mga minahinos? Ano yung mga pinlas? May pinlas man. But I think wala. So, puro less ito. Okay? You can also do this or practice this kung tama ba. Kung paano nakuha yung mga yan. Operating income. Yan sila. Income before taxes. But here, the answer in activity number 2 answer in this one, ilalagay nyo lang po siya dito. Ilan si net sales, si cost of sales, less, gross profit, less, operating expenses, and then interest expense. Ilan nyo na complete nyo dun sa, ay, sa first loan and second loan. And then, that will be your income before taxes. With taxes, nagbigay ako dito, assume that the impose tax is about 30%. So, use separate sheet. Sa notebook lang po. Doon lang lahat, i-compile lahat ng mga activities ninyo, mga bebelabs, para hindi mawala. Okay? 
So, that is the na item number one for additional activities. Gayahin nyo lang po ito. So, for the company, uh, you can invent your own company name. Okay? Palitan na lang to si A. Kung ano ang company name na gusto ninyo para sa magiging business ninyo. Next is the item number two. Assume you have your own startup business. So, prepare three-year projected income statement, three-year projected finan financial statement of financial position, and one-year statement of cash flow. Use the same format in Bepo company. Use your own forecast data of the business you have in mind. You can use the name here. Ito na lang din siguro gamitin yung business name. But, uh, three-year lang po siya ha. Ito kasing example natin dito ay five-year. Ayan. So, mag-start ka na lang kay, let's say, for example, 2017-18-19 or 18-19-20. So, bahala kayo. Depende sa inyo. So, for income statement, 3-year, ganun din kay, to, financial position, 3-year din po. And kay cash flow, mag-1 year na lang po. So, ganito din po siya. The amount, bahala kayo. Depende sa inyo. This will serve as your practice set. Maybe for, not only for finance, but also for accounting. Okay? In your notebook din po, ilalagay. Doon na lang po lahat ilagay. So, this will be your activities for the week. So, I think that would be all for module 5. Budget, uh, preparation of budgets and financial statement. So, by next week, uh, you have your master test. I would like to say good luck to all of you and you could also review your previous modules and the previous videos that I uploaded and after you take your master test in I think Tuesday so by Thursday you can do the activities in module 5 so by maybe next week module 6 I'm going to upload also a discussion for module 6 so that will be all bye for now